would have been very different without Hoover Dam, in part because Hoover Dam helped build the West. If the dam were not built, the largest city on the West Coast today might very well be San Francisco because it's one of the few cities in the West that isn't dependent on water and electricity from outside. That means we might not have the metropolises today of Los Angeles, San Diego, Denver, Salt Lake City, and Phoenix because those cities all depended on water and electricity from Hoover Dam for their growth in the post-war years. Before the dam, the public works budget of the federal government in Washington was minuscule. It was about $150 million a year. Hoover Dam and its associated projects alone were more than that. It also showed that America was capable of achieving great things. I think the lesson of Hoover Dam led to many other great projects of, in the American century, including the space race, the Manhattan Project. Almost everything about the construction of Hoover Dam had to be invented anew. The dam builders had to figure out how to keep 3,000, even 4,000 men working effectively and in good health in one of the most inhospitable environments in the world, the Nevada desert. The builders had to invent new equipment. They had to invent new processes and methods of excavating underground, of pouring concrete. They had to invent new forms of concrete because this dam was more than twice the size of any dam that had ever been built in the United States or in the world up to that time. The most immediate beneficiaries of the Hoover Dam project, of course, were the men who worked on it and their families who were rescued from the terrible unemployment of that era when nearly one in four American workers was out of a job. Las Vegas not only benefited from the influx of men and families who came to help build the dam, but it was the first beneficiary of the water and the electricity that was generated by the dam. All of that neon on the Las Vegas Strip couldn't be powered without electricity from Hoover Dam. The greatest long-term beneficiary of Hoover Dam is the United States and its people because Hoover Dam helped build one of the most productive and economically important regions in the country. Perhaps the most surprising thing I discovered while researching the book was that Hoover Dam was not quite the flawless masterpiece we've been led to believe. Soon after Lake Mead began filling, the dam sprung a major leak. It took more than $2 million and more than nine years, longer than it took to build the dam, to fix the leak. But today, we know that the dam is pretty much watertight.